A young lady has sexual intercourse with a guy for the very first time in her life without protection. She comes to a conclusion that she's pregnant and fills her mind with lots of thoughts. Question is, has she heard of STDs? Does she know about ovulation? Has she heard of contraceptives? Welcome and thank you for joining Gelly Talk with Yoli. I'm Yolanda Fiado, your host. Our guest for today is Mrs. Augustina Agui. Welcome, Mrs. Agui. Thank you. I hope you are doing well. I'm doing well for God's grace and you. I'm doing well too. Happy Mother's Day to you. Thank you. And happy Mother's Day to our mothers out there and our potential mothers mm-hmm. as well. So going back to the preamble I gave earlier about the young lady not knowing much about her cycle and all that, if she had information about her cycle, she wouldn't have drawn a conclusion that she's pregnant and then worry herself with, you know, lots of thoughts. Okay. What's your take on that? Well, young ladies of today, comparing us to the <laughs> olden days, okay. where technology was not found as we have it now, mm-hmm. we had little or no education on menstrual cycle, but now with the advancement of technology, we are able to know or go on Google, um, on YouTube, yeah. on social media generally right. to get information on menstrual cycle. And sometimes our peers, our friends also help us one way or the other in knowing more about our menstrual cycle. Okay. So I've heard there are different phases of, you know, the menstrual cycle. So can you enlighten us a bit on that side of it? So some studies say there are four phases, okay. whilst others believe there are three phases. Okay. And so the reason why some believe there are four phases mm-hmm. is that they separate the menstruation from the other phase. Okay. And the four main phases are the follicular phase, the menstrual phase, okay. the ovulation phase, mm-hmm. and the luteal phase. Okay. So that is basically the four that we have. And the three consists of the follicular phase, which has the menstrual phase in it, okay. the ovulation, and then the luteal phase. Okay. So I've heard this PMS, PMS, PMS. I actually personally didn't know like the full meaning and then what it entails. But then coming across this has made it sort of interesting to me. Okay. okay, so can you tell us a bit about PMS? Okay, thank you. PMS basically means premenstrual syndrome. Okay. And these are signs or symptoms that tells a woman or a lady that she's approaching or getting ready to menstruate okay. generally. Okay. And it comes they, these signs or symptoms include mood swings. Mm-hmm abdominal cramps, a little abdominal cramps, okay. um, nausea or vomiting, okay. um, dizziness, and the lights. Okay. So my interest is in the mood swings okay. because um, most girls behave like in certain ways. So would you say that when girls are almost approaching their period and then they begin to exhibit like certain characters, like let's say getting angry, you know, feeling moody, sad, or maybe too hyper. Yeah. Is it um, a factor? Yes, mm-hmm. it is. Okay. Okay. So I've had, I have friends who have like menstrual pains. Some even at a point have to go to the hospital and like it's kind of dicey. Okay. So I want to know if you can enlighten us on how menstrual pain can be treated. So basically menstrual cramps comes as a result of the stretching of the uterine walls okay. so the more they stretch mm-hmm. the muscles stretch the more you feel the pain mm-hmm. and this way you can easily or you can try to minimize the pain okay. by getting warm towels okay. and place them on your abdomen okay. to compress or bring down the muscle contraction that is occurring over there mm-hmm. or you can go in for pills like um, the paracetamol the painkillers that we normally take Are when we have any menstrual. Yes, it, it is inf- effective with some. Okay. With some, it is effective. And with others, you see, too much of everything is bad. And most people tend to take the painkillers too much. Yes. So they tend not to react with them when the time is due to kill the pain. <laughs> okay. So personally, when I started my period, okay. it was very painful. And I was taking the paracetamol continuously. At a point, it's like my system got used to it. Mm-hmm. So like it didn't even work for me. Okay. okay. So I want to know if a female can get pregnant during her period. 
this is quite a dicey question <laughs> and an interesting one too so yes it is possible because there's nothing impossible under this earth or on, on earth everything is possible so far as you put your mind to it mm -hmm. so it's possible you can be pregnant whilst you're on your menstruation um you know menstruation varies from women to women mm -hmm. our cycle changes from a woman to a woman your cycle may be different from mine okay. and most women or most youthful ladies actually have 21 day cycle okay. so it ranges from 21 day cycle to the 38 or 39 day cycle okay. and so if you find yourself in the 21 day cycle the possibility of you getting pregnant it's very high so how do you know if you belong to the 21 days or 38 days category okay so it all has to do with the calculation okay. so from the first day of your menstruation to the first day of your next menstruation okay. will determine your menstrual cycle the length of your cycle okay. so if you menstruate on the first of january okay your next menstrual cycle if it falls on the 22nd of january okay. you should know that you're in the 21 day cycle oh okay. okay so in this situation some ladies tend to menstruate twice in a month wow yeah wow. those who have the 21 day cycle they tend to menstruate twice in a month but do ladies even take notice of this particular thing some do some don't mm. okay so I want to know what happens when a lady is ovulating in the ovulation period. What goes through? Like what happens? So ovulation basically means the production of matured eggs okay. from the ovary, which passes through the fallopian tube okay. into the uterus. Okay. So during ovulation, matured eggs are produced. They relax and wait to be fertilized. Mm -hmm. And one tricky thing about ovulation is that during the follicular phase, the last two days of the follicular phase okay. actually begins our ovulation. Okay. And then the day of ovulation is the normal day of ovulation, which enters into the luteal phase. Okay. And the first two days beginning the luteal phase mm -hmm. actually ends the ovulation. So basically ovulation actually takes place for five days but 14 days after your menstruation is the exact day of menstruation oh. so meaning that from the 12th day mm -hmm. ovulation begins gradually okay. and ends on the 16th day of oh. your menstruation okay. so if this lady had like much information about all this i don't think she'd be worrying her head then we yes. you know yes okay so we're going to have a short um, segment it's called moments of truth okay i have two papers here whichever one you pick you're still going to answer all wow. so. <laughs> so please pick one wow quite tricky okay hmm. you're answering all those though <laughs> <laughs> okay then anyone goes okay. let me pick this this is a big one <laughs> okay can i okay okay so should i help you with this out okay so it says have you ever missed your period if yes how did you feel and what thoughts did you have have i ever missed my period mm -hmm. <laughs> well yes i have i have i have i have missed my period and the thought well i would say it was an exciting thought okay <laughs> i was i was excited to be a first time mom okay so i missed my period when i had my first Son, when I conceived my first son and it was full of excitement mm -hmm. because after marriage everybody is expecting you get pregnant so I would say it was it came with excitement <laughs> so yours is like it has an excitement attached to yes. it but for others who aren't married or let's say ready to have children when they you know they go and have sex and all and then they miss their period and they become worried like am I pregnant what's happening they want to get a um, pregnancy test kit yeah. and all that okay so that's good for you <laughs> okay your next question okay okay there you go okay so it says were you taught how to track your period when you started 
Well, as a young child growing up, I had very little knowledge about menstrual cycle okay. and how to track my menstruation. Mm -hmm. I had to learn on my own the hard way mm -hmm. because unfortunately I didn't have my mom around. And you know, our grandparents, you know, they, they don't really like to be talking about all Actually, these things yeah. because they believe that when they, the more they introduce you to it, the more you turn to be a bad girl. Okay. So they, I didn't really have that knowledge. I didn't have much of that knowledge growing up. So what was your source like? How did you learn? Well, my main source I would say was my was my friends, the friends I had around me. You know, when you're going through your menstrual cycle, and they get to know, they have if they have ideas about it or any knowledge they have about it, they try to tell you, they try to let you know what is going on, and also from school and then my little research that I did. Okay. That's fine. Is it advisable to have sex during your period? Well, well, the issue of having sex during the period, you see the blood flow that is coming, mm -hmm. some, some people call it dirty blood. Okay. <laughs> and you know, it is the breaking down of the uterine walls. So it's coming, but there are particles that are coming out okay. of your system. So you having sex is more like pushing them back, mm. which is not healthy. Okay, so I would not advise that you have sex during your months. So would you say people practice it? Like, well, I can't, I can't give evidence or okay. proof, but I'm sure that some practice. Okay. So for ladies who, you know, like to have sex a lot, would you um, say there are specific days or times they should have sex within a month, like um, safe sex? without using contraceptives or condoms without getting pregnant okay so practicing safe sex during the cycle has to do with our third or our last cycle okay. our last phase that is the luteal phase okay. because during the luteal phase it is the phase that no eggs are being produced mm -hmm. no blood is flowing okay. so it makes the system and the place ready for action okay. ready for <laughs> <laughs> it makes the place ready okay so during that time no action is actually taking place there okay. so when you have sex i can recommend that during the literal phase you can have safe sex okay. without protection but even with that it is not guaranteed because every woman differs from the other okay so this conversation has been very insightful and educative. I hope to do this with you again. No problem. Thank you for coming again, Mrs. Augustina Agri. We appreciate your presence here today. Thank you. So on this note, we'll be wrapping up. So if you don't know how to check or track your period, you can go on Google Play Store or Apple Store and download the period tracker or flow ovulation and period tracker they are available on facebook instagram youtube and spotify at girly talk with yoni don't forget to subscribe like comment and share